Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpster Rentals. And I am not in Dallas. I am in, obviously, as you can see, nice and cold Wisconsin. I am here on a family vacation uh, for the holidays. And also, my niece is getting married on New Year's Eve. So we came up here. Been down in Texas for now going on 16 years. When we originally moved down, we said we were going to come up here every other Christmas for the holidays. And, well, we haven't come one time because it's freezing cold out here. So now we know why. And, obviously, we picked the coldest time to come. I mean, literally, we came, what, on the 20th? Uh, and then it was bitter, bitter, freezing cold. I mean, negative 30 degrees with a wind chill plus. Uh, and uh, now it's a little bit warmer. We got the sun out for the last couple of days. So... Got a little rental there, minivan, man van, nice little Pacifica. Anyways, purpose of this video is to kind of give you guys a, a little update. Hope you guys had a merry, merry Chris, Christmas uh, and a couple more days for New Year's. But wanted to touch a little bit on a post that I saw. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna try and scroll some, just some random footage I got. So you don't have to sit here and watch me all the time. But uh, of picking up some dumpsters. But there was a question posted on one of the pages that I really wanted to touch on because I thought it was really important to talk about. Now, the question was placed, or the question was asked, whether or not this person should start a dumpster business with one dump trailer for 2023. One dump trailer. If you've been following me for a long time, you've seen my progression in the dumpster business, okay? You've seen where I started with cargo trailers, then I went to dump trailers. Then I went to a roll off trailer. Then I went to uh, hook lift and now I'm still on hook lift uh, with a bigger hook, hook truck or a newer hook truck. So you've seen my progression over the last two years. And if there's one thing that I could change over the last two years, if there's one thing that I can go back and say, you know, uh, this was probably not so much a mistake, but I could have done without is starting with trailers. Let me explain why. If you want to scale an actual business, if you want to really grow your business, trailer is not where it's at. You can't, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can have a fleet of 50 trailers eventually and, and make a lot of money. If you're looking to actually grow a business that you can scale, it's very hard to buy more than two or three trailers and for it to be even close to being cost effective because it's just so expensive to keep, maintain, to register. Uh, I mean, you're talking about four tires uh, each trailer. You're talking about a set of registration for each trailer. You're talking about insurance. Um, again, if you're looking at just doing a side hustle, more power to you. Go ahead, buy a dump trailer, rent it out to people. They can drive it themselves even. Uh, or you rent it out, park it in their lot, in their parking driveway or whatever, and then pick it back up a few days later. I am freezing cold, so bear with me. But if you want to scale your business, if you really want to have a business 20, 30, 40 dumpsters plus, that's not the way to go. So my suggestion would be for you is to continue to save up until you have enough to buy a roll-off trailer or even better, a roll-off truck okay um, if I were to do it all over again what would I do I would skip my uh, cargo trailer and my dump trailer journey and I would go straight into the roll-offs that's just me uh, being brutally honest with you guys um, it is a good side hustle it is a good way to make a little bit of money 200 to 400 maybe even $500 a week uh, profit but to to grow it into a business it takes it takes too long uh it's the, it's definitely the hard road and on top of that um it's just not the route to go if you really want to do a business out of make a business out of it. it's not worth much okay your trailer yeah you can sell it for a good amount of money you can sell it for close to what you bought it for um and you probably won't take too much of a hit but you are changing up changing up your inventory um pretty quickly in order to move up or in order to grow your business and it's just not the best idea in my opinion so 
Should you start a dumpster trailer business in 2023? I would say no. Get your roll off, get a hook lift truck, get a, uh, 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 you know, any kind of roll off truck and, and do it that way. Um, that would be my advice. So hope, uh, hope I've answered your question and dude, it's freezing. I'm going to go back inside. I am a Texas boy now. I'm a Texas man. I'm not uh, into this white stuff that they got out here in this bone chilling cold weather. I'm going back inside. So anyways, hope you guys have a whole very happy or very merry New Year's. And uh, I'm out until 2023. We'll see you guys later.